everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a fragrance haul slash review video. I really love doing fragrance videos, guys. I have been getting more into fragrances and I just really enjoy doing these reviews. So I'm gonna go over some new perfumes that I have received and then go over all the notes and how I feel about them. So if you guys are interested, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, so the first fragrance I have is from Byredo. Byredo is another niche fragrance um, house and they also sell like homeware, so like blankets, they sell candles, body wash, hand wash, all that good stuff. They also sell makeup and purses as well. And I really, really like this brand. I would describe Byredo as like a cool girl brand, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like if you have your own personal sense of style, like you probably wear a Byredo fragrance. But anyway, the fragrance that I have here is Rose of No Man's Land. I actually first smelled this because my friend gave me a hand cream and I really fell in love with the smell of the hand cream. Personally, I did not really like heavy rose fragrances. Something about it, I just thought it was too overpowering. And I think as I start to smell fragrances more, my nose has matured. So I feel like I can definitely appreciate appreciate fragrances differently now. So the notes on this, the top notes are turkey, red rose, and pink pepper. The middle notes are turkey, red rose, and raspberry bloom. And the base notes are papyrus and amber. So definitely very heavy in that rose smell, but the best way I could describe this is it's like a creamy rose. Imagine you have like a bathtub filled with like milk with rose petals. It's just very creamy, um, a little bit sweet. It's not like baby powdery. It just smells like fresh milk with fresh ro roses like it just smells so good it's very light and feminine and i would definitely describe this as like a skin scent like I, I just think it smells so good when you're straight out of the shower you spray it on wet skin and you can definitely layer this with other fragrances i think that's why i like this so much it's not overpowering i think that this would smell good in any situation so if you're at an office if you're in a very tight and closed place i definitely feel like you would like this and i think this is a good intro into rose fragrances um i know Jo malone has a very popular rose fragrance which i have smelled before it's definitely more intense than this and i do like it but this smell and you can definitely smell that amber in there it's like a little green um, with, imagine like, like I said, a milk bath with rose petals and like the rose stems in there. Like it just smells so good. It just, this is definitely a nice, sweet, feminine fragrance. Okay, the next fragrance I have is actually another Byredo fragrance. This is Pulp. My friend ended up giving this to me. Um, we thought that Pulp was going to discontinue, but I guess it's only just going to be available online. And I really, really like this fragrance. I am someone who has a very sentimental, like I'm very sentimental when it comes to fragrances. So when I smell something, it definitely reminds me of whatever time I was wearing it. So this particular fragrance reminds me of my friend. And this reminds me of my summer in the city, just going to work, just walking around. It's a very, very fresh fragrance. So the top notes on this are black currant, bergamot, and cardamom. The middle notes are fake, red apple, and tiara flower. And the base notes are praline, peach blossom, and cedar. So I talked about this in another video. This smells to me like oranges, and there there is no orange note in this fragrance, which I think is very interesting. The best way I can describe this fragrance is, say you have like a plate with powdered sugar on top and you squeeze like fresh orange with a little bit of lime and a little bit of lemon. Like it's a very, it's a very zesty, citrusy fragrance. Um, and I think it smells really nice. I think you're going to either love it or hate it, to be honest just because of how intense the citrus smell is. But I think it's perfect for the summertime and the springtime, especially when it gets a little sweaty. I just think it adds that freshness to it. I also like wearing that fragrance when I go to the gym because it makes me smell like I kind of just took a shower, if that makes sense. So I really, really like that scent. And I really love Byredo's fragrances as well. I think that each one is very unique. 
and I can say for the ones that I own and some of the fragrances that I smelled by Byredo, I haven't smelled anything similar when it comes to other brands. So I definitely think that they are very unique when it comes to their fragrances. Okay, so the next fragrance I have, I was actually very, very excited about because I was sent this. This is from Guerlain, and this is their one of their newest releases called Tobacco Honey. When I tell you guys, I was so excited to get this email because I their fragrances, they're pretty pricey. I think this fragrance is $395, yes, very expensive. But I love, I personally think that some fragrances are worth the money, like I just think the quality of the fragrance, you just, you can't beat it. So the top notes on this are honey, cloves, and anise. The middle notes are tobacco, tonkas, vanilla, and sesame. And the base notes are agarwood, oud, and sandalwood. So if you like the smell of honey, you are going to love this. Growing up, I did not like honey. I hated the smell. You either love it or you hate it. It's like sweet, but it's also kind of earthy, if that makes sense. The smell of honey to me, at least. So this smells like, I just picture like, someone like squeezing a honey bottle and just falling down. That's what I can describe this as. But it is very heavy in that tobacco scent. Um, the tobacco scent I would describe as kind of like, you say you have a fireplace or you're like at a fire pit and the fire's starting to go out. That's the tobacco scent that I get. I don't really, when I think of tobacco, I think of like cigars, but I don't have that cigar scent. I think of like a woody, like kind of burning smell, not in an off-putting way, but I would say it's a little bit more, the tobacco smells a little bit more masculine, but with the honey being so sweet, I think that it pairs really nicely. I, I could see a man wearing this if they liked it to be, if they liked their fragrance a little bit more sweeter, but this is a very distinct smell and I do think that this is definitely signature scent worthy. The bottle is beautiful, the scent is beautiful and it lasts for a very long time. You honestly only need one spray of this. I made the mistake of wearing this to the gym and it gave me a headache because as your body heats up some fragrances tend to heat up as well so the fragrance will become like more intense and i would not recommend wearing this um if you're gonna be working out because it just it gave me a headache but this smells so good it is so unique um and i don't think i've really smelled a very heavy honey fragrance before the only other fragrance i can think of is Honeysuckle by Jo Malone. It has that kind of honey scent to it, but this it is so unique. I don't think a ton of people will be wearing this, and I just it's a very sophisticated scent. Um, I could see someone like the person that I see wearing this is someone wearing like black trousers, a black V neck bodysuit with like red patent leather or red. Um, black patent leather pumps and like very beautiful makeup um and i'd say like a pop of color bag like very sophisticated i think that this would be great for date night i do think that this would be a little heavy if you are wearing it to the office if you're gonna wear it i would only do one spray because i think more than that it will be a little bit too much like in a very crowded room but this is a very i think this would be very sexy for a date night um, but yeah, I really, really like this. Okay, so the next fragrance I have is actually my boyfriend's, but I, he said I could feature it. So this is the Matcha by Lalabo. This is the Matcha 26. And I had smelled this before because my friend actually gave me a sample, like I think a year ago. And I ended up purchasing this fragrance for her birthday because she really liked it. So yeah, the first notes, I think there are only one set of notes, one line. So it's Fig, matcha tea, cedar, bitter orange, and vetiver. So I was really excited to smell this because I really loved matcha meditation from uh, the Maison, what is it? Replica brand by Mason Margiela. I really liked matcha meditation, but the matcha scent did not last long because I believe the matcha note was in the top notes. So by the time it dried down, you couldn't really smell matcha. Now with this, 
I definitely do smell matcha, but it's not sweet. I would say if you just opened a fresh pack of matcha powder, it's very powdery, but it's also earthy, but it's not very sweet, if that makes sense. It's more like creamy. Like, you know how you can get like a latte, a creamy, a latte, which is basically milk and like a shot of espresso, but if you don't get it sweetened, it's still creamy, but it's not sweet, if that makes sense. So I definitely get the matcha and I get the cedar. I don't really get the bitter orange and I don't really get the fig. I feel like maybe the bitter orange, actually I do get a little bit of the bitter orange, but it's more of like the sweetness of the orange, not really the citrusy because I smell the matcha, the matcha tea in there. But this actually smells really good on my boyfriend. Um, these Lalabo fragrances, I would say, are pretty unisex. And I really do like how this smells on him. This lasts for a very long time. And I think this could be another one of those skin scent fragrances. Um, the best way I could describe a skin scent, skin scent to me is like something that someone's skin or their their pheromones would smell like naturally if that makes sense i definitely think that they are great layering scents and i think that this would be really nice to layer with i think if you have like a vanilla fragrance or a more musky fragrance i think this would last really nicely i do think this is a great fragrance to wear all day long date night whatever i think it would be fine in the office situation as well but i really like this scent and i think it smells really good on him as well and the last two fragrances i have are more designer fragrances so the first one is the Ralph Lauren Romance Intense version. I received this in PR. So the notes on this are black currant, green mandarin, and bergamot. The middle notes are violet leaves, marigold, rose, lily, lily of the valley, and ylang ylang. And the base notes are sandalwood, vanilla, patchouli, and cedarwood. So it's interesting because the best way I could describe this is it kind of reminds me of hand soap and I say that because hand soaps are like fresh they ha I don't know hand soaps have this very distinct smell to it it's like clean but it's fruity because you're washing your hands it just it's like a clean scent but they do add other scents in there so it's kind of like fruity if that makes sense so I really do like this I personally like to wear this before I go to the gym I think it's perfect when you're sweating it's nice and clean. You smell, it's like, um, it's like a squeaky clean scent. Like, you know how like when you wash your hair and throughout the day you can smell like that fresh shampoo smell? That's kind of what this fragrance reminds me of. I will say, when I wear this fragrance and my body is like warm, it kind of smells like strawberry shortcake. Like a strawberry shortcake cake, if that makes sense. It smells really, really nice. Um. I do get the bergamot, which I do really like bergamot and fragrances. I don't really get rose. I get a little bit of vanilla. And I do get that black currant. It's very berry, the fragrance, but it also smells very clean. I think the bergamot is what's making it lean more clean. And like I said, when it dries down, it has that kind of like sweet cake scent to it at least that's what it smells like on me when i'm working out but i really like this scent um i wouldn't pick this up like to wear throughout the day i think i would only wear this to the gym just because i do have i like to smell like sweeter throughout the day if that makes sense but this is perfect for anyone who likes that clean fresh fragrance smell and i definitely think this is a great gym fragrance like running errands fragrance Okay, the last fragrance I have is the Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. I received this when I was doing a little Valentine's Day video. So the top notes on this are Iris, Peony, and Lily of the Valley. The middle notes are Apricot, Rose, and Peach. And the base notes are Vanilla, Musk, Tonka Bean, Sandalwood, and Benzoin. So this, I don't know what it is. I feel like they change the formula of this particular fragrance very often. I think they just reformulated. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I got an email saying that they reformulated this and I went to Sephora to smell it and it smelled different. 
um, because I've had a bottle of this before and it's definitely smelt more baby powdery. Like it was more, yeah, it was more powdery, but this one smells more juicy. Like it's definitely more fruity. I can smell that apricot and peach and it has a little bit of that vanilla smell to it. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I definitely think that this bottle is different than the one that I had before. It definitely smells, um, it smells different, but nonetheless, it's a very sweet feminine fragrance. I think that this is a great first designer fragrance. If you're looking for something that I think everyone would like, I would recommend this. I think that you could wear this in any situation. I definitely think this could also be someone's like signature scent, someone who doesn't want anything too overpowering and that would smell good all throughout the seasons. I would definitely recommend Miss Dior. So that is all the new fragrances that I got. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if there are any specific fragrances that you want me to review. I do plan on doing fragrance reviews on particular fragrance houses. So for example, by Rado, um, Maison Francis Cartagon. So just specific on those brands. If you guys are interested in that, definitely let me know down below. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will trust you next time.